Hello and welcome to Scout IQ, where it's our mission to help you scout smarter, not harder. Before you head off on your first sourcing adventure, take just a few minutes to watch this video. If you follow the steps outlined here, you'll be set up for success with your new scouting app. After you've signed up for your free trial online, the next step is to download the Scout IQ app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. When you're asked to log in, simply use the same credentials you created online when you created your account. After you've logged in once, you won't be asked to log in again unless your subscription expires. It's important to note that your subscription or trial is married to a single device, so be sure to log into the device you plan on using. The next thing you'll need to do is create your MWS credentials and enter them into our online portal as shown here. This will allow us to look up live data on Amazon on your behalf while still keeping your account private. Please note that in order to get MWS credentials, you'll need to have a pro merchant account on Amazon, or you can share credentials from someone else on your team. Follow the steps on this page as shown here to set up your credentials. Once you have them, copy and paste your seller ID and your auth token as shown here, then click save information. If your credentials are not correct, you'll see a red warning banner at the top of the screen. If you have entered them correctly and click save, you'll see a green notification at the top. Once you've successfully saved your credentials here, they will automatically sync with your app and there's no need to enter them into the app itself. If you've signed up for a database plan with Scout IQ, here's how to download the database. Open the app and then tap on the download data button from here, you can see the last time you've updated your database, and you can also test the database to ensure that it's working. We update our database every single day, so you can download fresh data as often as you would like. When you're ready to download fresh data, tap on the Download Database button, and the process will start. The file size is around 1.3 gigabytes, and should take roughly two to three minutes to download over a high-speed internet connection, or perhaps a little bit longer if your internet speed isn't quite as fast. It's very important to leave your phone alone during this process. Don't answer any calls or texts while it's downloading as that can potentially kill the download process and you'll have to start over again. You'll know that the download is complete when the counter disappears and then you can once again test the database to ensure that it's working properly. Once you've set up your MWS credentials online and downloaded the database, you're almost ready to go scouting for books. But before we do so, let's take a quick look at the settings page. So here you can set your phone to always be awake while you're scanning so your phone won't fall asleep. You can turn the audio on or off depending if you wanna look at your screen. And the same thing with vibration, it's set to vibrate on accepts so you can scan quickly and the phone will alert you when you've reached something that's potentially profitable. The most important piece on this screen is the scanning modes. By default, if you've paid for database plan, your phone will come in database only mode, which is exactly what it sounds like. You can always look up a book in individually by tapping live once you get to the scout screen, but by default, it will only look in the database. Data plus live is the mode we'd recommend, as this will look in the database for the book first. If it's not in the database, it'll look on Amazon to see if it can find it and return the results for you. Lastly, live only is exactly what it sounds like. It will not look in the database at all. It's only gonna look the data online. This is a little bit slower way to scan, but you will get the most recent data available from Amazon. If you've signed up for a live only plan, you won't see any of these scanning modes and by default, we'll set it to live only on your behalf. And lastly, you can log out from this screen as well. Let's take a quick look at our triggers now the triggers come preset and these are the same triggers that our team uses on a regular basis to know which books to buy and which books to ignore. Now a lot of math and science and research has gone into creating these triggers and you can use them the way they come or you can feel free to tap on any trigger and modify them to, to suit your exact business needs. We'll have a more advanced training video on the triggers but for now know that they come preset right out of the box. Now that you've got everything set up, it's time to start scouting for books. Simply tap the scout icon, and from here, there are four ways to enter an ISBN into your phone. The way we'd recommend is to pair a Bluetooth barcode scanner to your phone, and you can scan books very quickly using this method. If you don't have a barcode scanner yet, no worries. You can simply tap on the text box, 
You can paste an ISBN if you've copied it from an email or from a different app. You can enter an ISBN. We've got the 978 preset down here to speed up that process. You can also then put the X on the end of the ISBN if your ISBN has that or leave it off and our app is smart enough to uh, take it from there. Lastly, if you wanna go even faster but you still don't have a barcode scanner, you can click the orange scan icon in the bottom corner. That'll bring up your phone's camera. You can scan an ISBN from there and it'll return the data immediately. One last thing to note, up at the top, you'll see accept or reject. Those are based on the triggers that you set up and you can change those. Please do not treat these as gospel truth. It's merely a computer following the rules that you've set up. So just because it says accept doesn't mean it's necessarily a guarantee win. It's just probably something you should take a closer look at. It's important to put your eyeballs on the screen, especially when you're starting out to understand how it works. Now that you're set up properly, be sure to watch our next video on how to navigate the app. We'll walk you through several scenarios and teach you how to interpret the data and make wise purchasing decisions. If you have further questions, you can always find us on Facebook, contact our support team via email through the online portal, or check out our support page link on the portal as well to answer some of your other commonly asked questions.